Hi, I am Minky Kim. I'm so happy to be here at Fat Coral Shop to show you how to make my so illustrated snack mat. Everybody must be considering what to sew illustrated or sewing illustration. I named it because I use regular normal straight stitch, not a, not like a, you guys know as a right applique. You put the, your feet dog down and then use a free motion foot, or you can use your open toe applique foot. So if you are good at if you want to finish this snack mat, what you can do next is this little uh, drawing of pairs and you can write draw writings using your sewing machine. And then later you can do more with this kind of a more detailed bouquet. If everything is with the sewing machine and then I use the straight stitchy and just a little bit of a uh, stitch length and every except this uh, yellow flower that's the hand embroidery but other thing is all by machine and it took me uh, a day a day but it depends on you how you want to add more or add less it's totally up to you here are designs you can get get the pattern the link below one is for your layout the other one is for your pieces First, you need this one at this moment. You get a fusible web. There's any kind you want, but I personally like this light steamer seam too. Put the steamer seam on top of your pattern and then start to trace with your pencil or any pen uh, through the design. Now it's time to choose the fun part. I like it. Choose the fabric. I recommend first to choose your base fabric first. It can be dark or you can use your light color like I did. Uh, if you choose the light color fabric, you wanna use some contrasting fabric. And this gonna be your cup holder. And then you play around. You can be like uh, the opposite way. Anything pops up from the base fabric, it works. And then I'm going to use this for the donut as, as, as well as uh, the donut should be pop up too. So you don't want to use any light color. It doesn't pop up well from the, the base fabric. So this is the scraps. By the way, this is my moment fabric. And then you need to cut the uh, fusible wrap. A little, give a little space, do not cut around, and take the backing paper and then put on the wrong side of the fabric or make sure if you want to use any design on the, from the fabric, make sure it's on the centered so it shows well. So I want to keep cutting it and then peeling up the backing paper and then make sure you put the, the web no, 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 fusible web on the wrong side of the fabric otherwise uh, you have to do it again I've done this before so and when the like this case if the fabric is smaller than the fusible web make sure to cut out otherwise it will stick on your ironing board so I'm gonna do like this and this is a very good way to use up your scraps that is too small or you haven't had a chance to use it so I want to cut my last donut and as you see you don't really you don't need to cut through the line just to give a little room because after we iron it, we're going to cut the design. So this is just to roughly cut to fuse the fabric on the wrong side, on the wrong side of the fabric. So I have a one, two, three, four pieces ready. Now it's time to iron. Now you need to iron 
the fusible web to the fabric. I don't use just steam, and I just uh, give it lightly. I am each pieces. It's just a habit. You don't really need to do both sides. And then you are all the four designs are fused. Now it's time to cut the element to fuse on your base fabric. Now you cut out the, I will grab the cup first. I'm a lefty. My husband make fun of me, but what's wrong with uh, being lefty? Right? I can cut ve very well. Like this. I already have a uh, Cut out the, all the pieces you need here and here. So let's uh, move to our face fabric and then arrange as you, you like. It is just uh, what I want, how it is. You can add your character. So I just do it like this. Or if you're not comfortable, you can use this. You can print out the pattern paper and place under your base fabric. And it's a kind of a see-through, so you can put it where it I designed. Or you can move like this, or you can add one more donut without no bite, or halfway one, you have whatever you want. Make sure it has a quarter inch seam all the way around. So place your pattern centered under the base fabric and then using your pattern as your guide place your cut out uh, pieces on place like this it's just uh, you decide where you're gonna put so it's not steamed yet it's not fused yet okay now i'm now you know if you are happy then you're gonna uh, take off the paper backing and then put it here so it doesn't have to be like this way or this way so don't worry about uh, reverse the pattern it's uh, any either way is okay so and then the thing you have to remember is you put the the most uh, bottom layer first and then you add the the top layer and then this one cap goes slightly cover the cup like this if you're happy with it let's go ironing do not press or do not push but this is a small item so you can do whatever you want just to make sure it fused because if your fusible web is old it kind of lose the uh, stickiness so it's uh, good to give a good iron other if not then it is easy to iron on your base fabric to check if it's uh, mm, good to go I wanna try peel it up and if not it's good to go because we are making snack mat that means we're gonna frequently wash it so you want your pieces fused really well and then I'm gonna place the bedding under before I sew the pieces I have the bedding cut already it's a slightly bigger than your base fabric because it is easier to sew and you can pin it but I'm not when it's small item like this I don't pin it but if you're comfortable then you can pin with the, all the sides so it doesn't move but to make it sure I wanna iron once that it helps it stays with the batting and the base fabric together but if your project is bigger than this uh, you should pin well I'm using warm 
100% cotton batting. Oh, before we go to sewing machine, we need to write the uh, writing. It's uh, totally up to you because it's kind of uh, tricky to write this uh, hand writing with a, using sewing machine, not hand embroidery. But I just wanted to show you how it easy it is. So you can use this uh, the my pattern before you place uh, the base fabric on the the cotton batting. You can it's just slightly see through if you are using light ba base fabric. Then you can follow the you can trace my drawing my my you can trace my writing, but but you can also. Do whatever you want. I said enjoy, but I can say hi, or I wanna just uh, do it like. It's easier to write in cursive because otherwise you have to stop and start, stop and start. So I wanna show how it e it is easy. Okay, let's uh, put this uh, project on top of the bedding. And oh, make sure this is a friction. That means when you iron it, it goes away. So I'm not gonna iron this part. I wanna talk about the thread. I use the dark thread, any color dark thread for the drawing. It's like a pen. Your thread is your pen. So you want dark pen because otherwise it won't show well. And for the bobbin, I am going to use the light color fabric for my backing. So I use this for barbing because you don't want to the dark thread see through your backing fabric. So let's go to sewing machine. Now you have a dark thread on the upper thread and then the barbing is white, but it's uh, your option. And I'm gonna reduce the stitch length a little bit short because it's easier to so the detailed uh, designs now then where to start to sew you can sew anywhere but I recommend to start wherever two line is meet I will show you why okay first uh, you start to sew slowly right inside of the cut out edges and then move uh, I'm gonna put it the this is easier, okay. Ready. So as I said, it's a drying with the thread. So oh, like this. Doesn't uh, doesn't have to be anything perfect and just to take your time. Oops. It happened to me when the motion is in you. I wanna start again. So like if you are drawing with the pencil on a paper, you can not draw a circle at once, right? You change a little of many lines and until you have the line you like it's the same thing so if you just uh, sew once and if you don't like it you can sew over it and i get questions if this uh, fabric frays Be because we shorten the stitch length so it hardly uh, frays i've been washed uh, many times but mine is still work then you the best is practice or make it slowly until you are comfortable and you can always cut the thread and sew it again so don't be afraid or stressed out and then even though we are using the same design, everybody different. So it is the charming of a sewing illustration because you add your own personal 
uh, character on your drawings. If you have to sew again, then go the line you saw before and then do it again like this. And then I want to do it more for the darker line. I recommend to use to uh, 40 weight or sometimes 28 weight thread. But if you only have a 50 thread, it's okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be thick thread. Just grab whatever you have around and then you find the difference. Okay, I'm going to show you how I did it so far. Like this. And then I want to finish this uh, little circle. When you do circle, it's uh, tricky just to do a stitch at a time. Uh, I'm not used to this uh, fancy machine, so I do better than this use <laughs> with my machine at home. So when you do the circle, you don't need to lock the stitchy. Just go over it. Okay, we are done with the cup. Now we are, let's do the donut. I just slow the machine down with the help from Fekora Shop. Now I'm using a knee lift if you don't your machine doesn't have it just uh, slightly uh, lift up your feet up uh, no the foot up you don't necessarily need a uh, knee lift for this then for the circle like i do you hold with your hand and then with this hand, you turn the fabric slightly like this. This one is helping, not moving. This one is uh, turning the fabric. And I want to do it over again because the line is not dark enough for what I want. So I want to do it again. Oops. Okay. circle once you have a confidence it's easy and then I promise you you will end up making many of these snack men or many of other designs because it's so easy as you see Tada, and then I will show you the back. As you see, as we use the white bobbin thread, it's not show through. Because uh, we're going to use this uh, light fabric as a backing. So it won't show through. If we use the same dark thread for the bobbin, it must uh, see, you can see. So th this is why I, I use the white bobbin thread. Okay, let's do the writing i will show you how easy it is you just uh, it's the same as a straight stitchy it has just uh, a little more curve than straight straight stitchy and then i slow down because uh, unlikely the cup and donut if uh, the line is a little out, out, out the way the writing won't look pretty so i will slow down a little bit and then this is why I say use the cursive because it's all the line is continuous. You don't need to stop and start. So and 
And I'm telling you, I do better with my machine. Oops. For the circle, I will go. Oops, it's a little different. We did enjoy, and then let's do the little heart. So if you are more comfortable with the um, free motion applique, go ahead. But if you are not like me, uh, more comfortable with the straight stitchy, is this way. When I trim the corner, I use the older line in the in the ruler, so every corner is a square. Nothing is uh, slightly different because. Uh, it's not pretty when you finished. So I usually don't pin it, but if you like, let's pin the corners. Because when I make a small project, I don't pin. If I make big one, of course you need to pin many places. So to be safe, let's do it this way. Then let's go to sewing machine. To finish the snack mat, you pin the backing fabric and the snack mat together and now we're gonna sewing. We're gonna sew. You can start either way, but I usually start bottom line. And then if you have a walking foot it help it. it helps the layer in place. If not, it's okay. Just to use your according to seam foot. Now I sew the all the way around, leaving two or three inch gap for turning. And then I'm gonna clip the corner. Be careful not to clip too closely. Just to remove the thickness of the corner when we turn. This is and then and my tip to make a nice corner is uh, save a chopstick and use it because other sharp tool may be stretchy your corner so it can be not pretty square as you wish so like this i gently poke because uh, and then i do not push it too hard make a little pretty round corner and then do the same with the, all the other corners like this and then let you do the iron now we are iron give a nice steam and as you see I fold in to make it easy to hand stitch it later You can use this side 
work this side so you have one you made one snake mat but you have two different designs after you iron it you hand stitch the gap and it will be like this uh, you, you can quilt as I did I did uh, one to three lines around uh, give a um, like a quarter inch a gap after you hand stitch the gap closed quilt as desired you can crisscross or you can do like I did I sewed all the way around one two three times and then I sew even around the element you cannot see but you can see here I sew around the designs or here's the another one I made I used the linen as a base fabric but make sure if you use your linen you should make it pre-washed before sewing because the linen stretches shrinks a little bit so this time I did only two and I also sewed around the writing too it's totally up to you you can do the free motion quilt or you can draw more lines whatever you want and now it's uh, you are ready to enjoy your snake mat or wrap it nicely and make your friends a nice day thanks for making a snack mat with me make sure to check out my other video at fat quarter shop i hope to see you soon